Hi, this will be the start of a new series of videos on using Parse and uh, JavaScript and a couple other libraries to create uh, a single page application that will, uh, you know, it'll use Parse and it'll use some other features to, uh, to create sort of a, I don't know, I'm thinking about doing a website that lets you post your garage sales to, uh, to Parse and then view all the garage sales in your area. It might evolve and change along the way, but anyway, um, let's get started. So um, before we even get into to parse, what I'd like to do is I'd like to set up our you know our basic web page so it acts as a single view application, and then we can incorporate all the parse features into that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, a a new file here in brackets, and then what I'll do is I'll you know I'll just add some you know, basic HTML stuff here, right? And then what I want to do is I'm going to save this into my folder here. Um, let me go find this folder that I've created called Garage Sale. It's somewhere around here. There it is, right? Okay, and so I'll name this, you know, index.html. And then I'll put in, the you know, the HTML tag and the head tag and the title tag and you know the body tag okay so there we go there I got a basic HTML page and I've saved it into my folder and what we're gonna do first is we will need to um, create a link to uh, to jQuery right so we're gonna use the jQuery library here Maybe I'll just name this, uh, you know, uh, garage sale, right? So we just have a name in the title there. And so what we'll need to do is we'll need to get the jQuery library. So I'm going to go into the browser here and go to jQuery.com. And then I will load, I will go to their download button here. And I'm going to link to the CDN. So I'll copy the address here. Right, so just we just need this the first one there. And we'll paste that into the file here. I'm gonna add http colon, oops, I'm gonna spell it right, um, right here in front. Since my files are local, I need to include this. Okay, so if they were on the server, I wouldn't need it, but for local, um, for running this locally, it has to have this, right? Um, or it won't work. So I'll put that in there. So there's my jQuery. And then, um, you know, maybe I'm going to have a style sheet, right? So I'll include a style tag here. Or actually, wait, you know, maybe, maybe I'll put it in another file. So let's uh, make a link tag with rel style sheet. And then I'll say, you know, href will be um, CSS slash style.css, okay? And I haven't created this file yet or this folder, so let's make that. So I'll go into my garage sale folder here, and I will create a brand new file or a new folder called CSS. One of the things I'd like to do with this project is use um, uh, SAS which is a compiled um, language that compiles into CSS. And I'm going to include a folder for that right here. I'll call it SCSS, okay? And so I'll put that in there, and then I'll make a file for my SAS styles. Okay, and here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to save this. So I just made a new file. And... Uh, I'll go into this folder here and I'll call it style.css so or scss. Okay? So we'll we'll get to this step later. I'm just setting this up for later, but um but essentially, you know, if I have this style.scss file in here, I'll use a tool to compile this and it'll create a file in here in the other folder called style.css. So it'll do that for me. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do that later though, okay?
So we're just putting this in here now to be set up. You know, let's make another folder while we're here called JS, and we'll put our JavaScript in there. So let's make a new file here, and we'll save it. And we'll put it in um, the JS folder here, and we'll call it, how about main.js. Okay? So there we go. So now we're, we're pretty good. Oh, wait, we should link to this main.js, right? So let's go back to our HTML file. And uh, maybe right here after we um, after we load, actually, you know what? Let's let's put it at the bottom of the body tag. It's probably a safer bit. So we'll put it here, and we'll say source equals JS slash main JS. Okay. So now we've got a link to our JavaScript, and we're good to go. <clears throat> so let's do uh, let's set up our page. So imagine our page is going to have some uh, navigation. So I'll put in uh, you know UL and an li tag here with an anchor in it, right? And so you know we have to decide what kind of pages we want. So what I want is I want a garage sale page, and this will list all the garage sales that are you know currently running and this page is going to link to a div called with 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 the ID name of garage sale okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link for every you know content element that I want to link to and the the link the href for it will have the ID name of that div Okay, and then we'll write a little JavaScript that will handle the, the clicking on this link to show the, the, the div, right? So uh, so there we go. And then what we'll do is we'll make another div here. Maybe, um, maybe this one will be like your profile, right? And then uh, maybe this one will be, you know, a login page, right? And then this one will be um, a register page, maybe if you want to register a new user account, right? So we have four pages here, and uh, and that'll be good for now. We might add some more, change these around later, but for right now we'll make a div, right? So here's my first page, right? And what I'm going to do is every page is going to be the same, okay? Every page will have an ID, and every page will have a class. And what we'll do is we'll give everybody the, the, the class name of page, okay? So this div represents a full page of content as if we were going to another web page, right? But uh, it'll all be internal, okay? I'm going to put another div inside each one of these and give it the class name, you know, content. <clears throat> okay, so this will be where the content goes for this page. And maybe on the first page here, if this is the garage sale page, I'll put that down as the ID name. And then inside here, you know, I'll put an H1 with the name garage sale. Okay. And now, I, you know, this will represent my first page right here. So this link is going to link to this one. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a few more of these pages. So there's two more. And the second one is going to be called profile and the third one will be called login and then we'll make a fourth one and we'll call it register okay so there's my setup pretty simple right so uh, you know as it is now if we save it and we test it um, let's get the browser here and I open this up maybe in the browser here. You'll see here's my links and there's my pages. Oops, they all say garage sale. Let's fix that, right? Let's make this one say, you know, profile and login and uh, register. Okay, so I'll save that. Let's refresh it here, right? There we go. Okay, and so, you know, nothing happens yet, right? Okay, so that's looking pretty good so far. So the first thing to notice is that when I click on these links, 
it places the hash tag with the name of the ID on the end of the URL. Okay, so we're going to make use of that to handle our navigation. So the first thing I need to do though is um, is set up the uh, the JavaScript here, right? So what I'd like to do is when we um, when we uh, <clears throat> click a link here, right? I want to find out that the hashtag at the end of the URL has changed. Okay. So let's go to our main JS and we've got jQuery loaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, I'm going to make a function here called show page. And I'll put in the page ID there. Right? And, uh, and then what I want to do is I want to hide all of the elements with the class name page. So that should hide all of our pages. And then I want to hide the element with the page ID. Okay? Or I mean show the element with the page ID, right? So you're going to pass in the ID of a page and then we'll select it with jQuery and then show it. Okay? So, you know, for example, if um, if we said, you know, show page and then I say, you know, um, profile like this, then when our, you know, when this page loads, uh, our JavaScript should call on the function up here. The ID name for the page is here, and it goes into this page ID variable, and then our JavaScript runs, and it hides all of the elements with the class name page, and then it shows the element that has the the ID name of profile okay so if we test that we refresh here and we just see profile right oh, I forgot let's change the titles here too so they so those are correct right um, so anyway so we're we're halfway there right let's make this one say profile login and register right okay so so there we go so now how do we get the the pages to change right so you know if I click here you know nothing's happening right so what I want to do is I want my program to be able to pick up when the hashtag changes and then show me a different div over here right so let's let's take care of that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this because I don't want to show the profile page immediately we just did that as a little test to make sure this function is working right so what I want to do is I want to add an event to the window okay so I've got the window object there I'm selecting it with jQuery and then I want to say on and then I want to do hash change and then we'll say you know event and so when the hash changes, that means that the that the um, the value after the hashtag here in the URL changes. So if it changes from this value to a different value, then you know our JavaScript in this um, inside this function right here is going to is going to run. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll say um, show page. And what we want to do is we want to get the the hash, um, you know, the hashtag at the end of the URL, and we can do that with location dot hash. Okay, so location gives us the URL or <clears throat> you know the the object that represents it, and then dot hash gives us the hash portion of the URL. Okay, so when we you know when we change the hash, then we'll call on show page. And then it'll run the code here, and we'll pass it the <coughs> pardon me. We'll pass it the uh, the hash value, right? So we'll refresh here, and now when I click on profile, you can see profile shows, and when I click on login, login shows, and when I click on register, it shows, right? And then there's garage sale. So now you'll notice when I run the page immediately, we should be seeing the garage sale page 
and these other pages should not be visible. So let's set up a default state for our app, right? So, you know, after we've got our function set up, maybe we'll say, we can do this, we can say location dot hash equals, um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna set this to, to nothing, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say location dot, um, dot hash equals garage sale. Okay, so that'll be our default page. The reason I'm setting it to nothing is if we're if it currently says garage sale and then we call on garage sale, like we refresh the page, it won't call the function here because the hash didn't change. So, um, well, actually, maybe we'll improve this later, but that'll be kind of a, a way to make sure that it always goes to garage sale and loads correctly every time for right now. So let's save that. That's actually surprising little little code for the amount of functionality that we get here. So there we go, we refresh and then it says garage sale. And if I click on profile, it goes to profile and register and log in and garage sale, right? And an added bonus to using this method or using this system is that um, since the URL is changing, it works with the browser's history and we can still use the back button. So when I click, I can still go back in history and it keeps track of the pages in the order that I, that I clicked on them, right? So there we go. So I'll stop this video here and then we're gonna add some more features and kind of build the app over time, but that gets us started. So now we've got sort of a single page app, like we're not loading new stuff. We're just you know displaying different content in the same page, but we've got it working with you know with the uh, the links here on the page, and we've got it working with the back button too, and the history in the browser. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I uh, hope that's useful.